I went and saw Eternals. Oh, right. I've heard this is the most mixed and honestly leaning towards negative reception, I think, of any Marvel movie in recent memory. So how did you feel about Eternals? Well, I went in with almost zero expectations because of the reviews. Right. Um, so overall, I enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. So it didn't, blow your, it, hair, it didn't blow your hair back, but it was, you know, it was acceptable? It was acceptable. I mean, um, I, I liked that they did something different. Um, geez, I know, I know, I, geez, I don't know where to begin. Um, oh, oh, there's a lot going I don't, on. Yeah, because I don't want to spoil anything. It's very yeah. different than any other Marvel movie, uh, which was nice to see. Um, Let me ask you this. People have been comparing it and some of its issues to uh, when DC tried to rush to get the Justice League together where nobody had individual movies and there were so many characters that they couldn't be given enough screen time for you to either give a shit or really understand the characters and why they would be involved in something like this. Did, yeah. did you find that that was kind of a similar a issue? Bit. A little bit. There's just so many characters, man. And, um, and the story is just so... It's so big that, like, and things are so powerful that it starts to be just come ridiculous. But um, because my expectations were low, I left feeling satisfied enough uh, that, you know, if they never made another one again, I wouldn't care, right? Like, if they didn't make another Dune, I'd be, I'd have pitchforks out. <laughs> but with Eternals, like, I, I, I never have to see that, that stuff again. Um, I'll never watch the movie again, ever. It's definitely not a rewatchable movie, but it was different enough. It was beautifully shot. It looked gorgeous. It didn't look like a Marvel film at all. Um, there were a couple of really cool characters for sure. And there were a couple, there was quite a few throwaway characters. Um, but Shang-Chi was 10 times the movie this was. Like just well, in terms were there of any, enjoyment. Were there any standout performances? Because there's a quite a deep cast there. So were there any like what, who was the low spot and who was the high spot? Mm, the lowest spot would be um, um I think the low spot spot is is more so the villain in this movie um, than anything because the villain is. I don't want to say anything. It's not your stand. It's not like a standard baddie. It's yeah, a yeah. lot of baddies, um, but there is kind of one big baddie, and I thought that that was probably the weakest part because that that and that part felt the most Marvel. Like the 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 enemies felt very Marvel, but everything else around it didn't. Um, but there were some really good. Like there were some good characters. Like uh, several of them. Uh, Angelina Jolie's character uh, was interesting. Um, the, there's the, um, you know, they, they, they all, they all play a really unique part in this group, uh, of Eternals. Um, I enjoyed the mythology of the characters in terms of like how they became who they are and, um, sort of the, I'm trying not to spoil anything, but yeah, yeah. it's, uh, it, 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 it was, it was different. It wasn't your standard Hey, I rolled into radioactive waste and now I can do this. <laughs> this was much more uh bigger. This is like my this is like um th this movie was kind of like more of a snotty stuck up Marvel movie that really didn't go the whole way and kind of left like 30% of it feeling like Marvel and then the rest of it that you're on board with just because of that it was confused. It just felt so it wasn't off. the formulaic Oh, nowhere's near. the The formula is completely flipped all around here. Like, like people die in this movie. Like, uh, like in most Marvel movies, like people don't die. You know, they're they're. This is like almost kind of Game of Thronesy. Like, they you know, they do shit. There's sex in this movie. I, ironically, there's a shit. man from Game of Thrones in the movie. Several. And and one of the girls is is her name Cersei. You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> like one of the Eternals. That's so, kind of funny. That's yeah. kind of funny. Um, there is actually a, a funny Game of Thrones reference. That do they, they do they do it? Oh, okay, yeah. I like that they do that. Yeah. That's good. They, That's they good. Kinda, yeah. They kind of they kind of do. Um, 
How would yeah. the uh, how would the actors play off one another? Because that was quite a mix of people. Were there any kind of like yeah. awkward? Because not everyone can always act act you know together. But no, was it was good. Just, uh, everything felt everything felt good and felt felt natural. Not, not the, nobody felt out of place. I think everybody did good. It's just there's so many different stories. There's a lot of flashbacks and time jumps and um, stuff. So there's a lot going on, and the the story is so big. Mm. on scale that it almost makes the Avengers and the heroes that you already are in love with feel so small and almost like, um, like, oh, I don't want to say like they're useless, but like they're so small in the grand scale of things Yeah, yeah. that it, it, in this movie, the, the ideas and the concepts were so big that it almost diminished everything that came before it. It almost, it it almost well, it's made like it classic all comic book power creeping and shit. Yeah, like, but I mean, this is starting to get to a whole nother fucking level. I mean, this is like some 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 next level shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, I liked it. That's that's what I can say. If I had to give it a rating out of out of out of ten, it'd be a seven. You know, like uh, good time, some good action scenes. Movie was a little bit too long, but I was enjoying the mythology, so I didn't care too too much. I was where's excited. that where's that slot in in your in your Marvel? What's 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 right above it and what's kind of right below it? And or do you even have a place for it in your, uh, in your yeah, pantheon? Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's not it's 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 not even in the top ten. But, okay. Uh, I I like it more than Ant Man. Um, I like it more than the Ant Man's. Um, although the Ant Man's is like a fun like a more fun yeah, time. Yeah, uh, of but course. This yeah. is more. Serious. Like this is like fucking like a real sci-fi. This felt like a sci-fi film with superheroes. It kind of like, gave me even... Watchmen vibes, like the the nah. way that it was like uh, nah. uh nah. not it's, in terms like just like the the uh because no like I, I mean in terms of sci like aesthetically and sci-fi ish in yeah, nature. Yeah, no, it's it's it, it it was more of um it was more of Chronicles. Um, and like, uh, like Chronicles of Riddick. No, like uh, there's a movie called Chronicles. Oh, is there? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a superhero movie. Okay. Um, it kind of had that, that kind of feel to it. Um, it, it also kind of, it also kind of had a, a feel of like, of like Troy, you know, where, where it was like, um, cause there was some big, cause there's a time jump. So there was some big, uh, 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 uh battles and, and different uh, things that were going on and aesthetically like uh cinematography wise it a lot of the shots were really big so really so wide sweeping. really wide sweeping with really beautiful backgrounds and large bigger than life uh shit um they did a really good job with scale not as good as dune but like not not bad so i i i appreciated that it just it wasn't like your regular marvel where cameras are up close all the time and you know it's, it's like very super this is like cameras are back further you get a lot more people on a shot you're seeing much more of the surroundings it, it felt it, it just felt a little bit i don't know uh more sci-fi more sci-fi that's that's literally it more sci-fi um, uh so i i i would recommend People to watch it at home. So when it goes on Disney Plus, definitely worth a watch. If you're a diehard Marvels fan, like die diehard, go see it in theaters. Like go support it. Go go see it. If you're one of those like ah eh, whatever, I'm not really you know I'm not chomping in the bit. Just wait. Just fucking wait to see it. And if you're if you really are not into Mar uh, into comic book movies and you only ever see like one or two, skip this one altogether.